welcome to javainterviewquestions.com today we will write a program how to create hash set in java how to add elements to hash set how to remove elements from hash set how to find size of hash set and check hash set is empty or not for that I had taken a new class hash set demo and I'm writing a main method and I'm creating set of strings string set equal to new new hash set of string and next adding elements to hash set how to add elements to hash set string set dot add a I'm copying this so we have a add method in hash set which will add elements to the hash set so first we have added a then I am adding b then I am adding c then I am adding d now what I'll do is I'll print this hash set Printing elements in hash set. So, so what are the elements we have? D, A, B, C. If we see the elements we have inserted, they are A, B, C, D. But if you see the output, we are getting D, A, B, C. That means the insertion order will not be remained in hash set. So hash set doesn't maintain any insertion order. This is the main uh, difference, one of the main difference we can say between hash set and array list. Array list maintains insertion order. Now what I am doing is, I am removing an element from the hash set. Removing an element from hash set. string set dot remove so which element I am removing I am removing B so now what I am doing is now I will print this has set after removing element printing hash set elements after removing B so what I am doing now I am printing this string set see if we see in the next output we have only D A C we have removed B so the next step is now we are finding the size of hash set finding size of the hash set sys out string set dot size size of asset
so size of hash set is 3 we have 3 elements in hash set that is D A C now what we'll do is we'll check whether check hash set is empty or not to check whether the hash set is empty or not we have a method in uh, string set to do that whether to check has it is empty or not if we open this uh, now what I am doing is I am uh, checking whether has it is empty or not and what I am doing is I am printing if it is empty it will print true otherwise it is false string set dot is empty so we have a is empty method in has set which will return true if the hash set is empty which will return false if the hash set is not empty that is if it contains element so in our case since we have elements in the hash set our string set dot is empty should return false so now I'm running the program to check our output if you see the output we are getting false this is how we create hash set and how we are perform operations on hash set Thanks for watching this video. Hope you understand this video. If you like my videos, subscribe to my videos.